supply, as, as Michael touched on a little earlier, we've walked a really fine line between nostalgia and the need to deliver a relevant, fresh, aspirational Bond experience. The film is now 15 years old, and although many of the themes are still relevant today, friendship, trust, betrayal, revenge, the Cold War backbone is a little less meaningful in 2010. Working closely with Bruce Feirstein and David Wilson, we both identified and maintained the elements that were special about the original narrative and brought other themes bang up to date. These updates touch every element of the game. There's still a tank chase, an explosive tank chase through the streets of St. Petersburg. But this is now contemporary St. Petersburg, with skyscrapers dwarfing the old streets and buildings. The carrier's back, but this time in Dubai and not Monaco. We also wanted this to be an experience that was played entirely from Bond's perspective, that Bond doesn't experience. This required some reordering, a good example of which is the EMP blast in Seven Eye that Bond now experiences firsthand. It's, it's an incredible moment as the player breaches over the brow of the hill and looks down on the, on the Seven Eye facility as it's hit by the EMP blast from the GoldenEye satellite. When designing the gameplay for GoldenEye 007, we asked ourselves what a GoldenEye experience in 2010 should look like, what elements should it contain, and distilled it down to four key things. Firstly, player choice. The sense that in all situations you have meaningful choices to make, whether that be which of the multiple routes to take through the environment, whether to approach an area covertly as an all-out firefight, and you saw some of that in the, in the demo we've just watched, or which of the 25 weapons to choose from, ranging from Soviet assault rifles, German submachine guns, pistols, sniper rifles, rocket launchers. Secondly, we wanted to capture that feeling of being a secret agent, but most specifically of being Daniel Craig's Bond. And Bond is now more physical, vaulting over cover blocks as you saw, sprinting over open ground, using hand-to-hand -hand takedowns to neutralize enemy forces, either covertly or during firefights. Now, Bond films, as we all know, have always been known and recognized for their incredible action sequences. And we really wanted to capture that feeling in GoldenEye 007. Not only their incredible set pieces, but on a moment-by-moment -moment basis, platform-leading destructibility on the Wii means any firefight can become a memorable moment. And finally, and almost more importantly, we identified incredible multiplayer. I mean, it has to have it. Four-player split screen, eight-player online, over 40 different characters to play as, including eight classic villains from the history of Bond, including Scaramanga, Oddjob, Jaws, and Baron Samdi. Ten multiplayer maps with variants for split screen and online, and a whole range of hosting and customization, customization options, including, and not limited to, paintball, golden gun, you only live twice, big hands, and a range of game modes giving endless replayability long after you play through the single player campaign on all of the four difficulty levels. Obviously, on all of our behalf, we really hope you enjoy the rest of your today. Um, and, you know, obviously, including looking longingly at all the authentic props we've been lent by the team at Eon Pictures. And we'll look forward to talking to you more about the games later today. In the meantime, I'd like to invite to the stage David Wilson, Vice President of Global Business Strategy for Eon Productions, who has a very special introduction for you. Thank you. You are as excited about the game as I am. Uh, GoldenEye was the first James Bond film that I worked on as an assistant director, so it holds a special place in my heart, and I think this game takes it to new heights. But I'm here today to talk to you about another game that I think will break new ground for the Bond franchise. The game is called Bloodstone. Bloodstone is a brand new Bond adventure. It has everything that you'd expect, exotic locations, action, espionage, incorrigible villains, great music, and great performances. But above all, it has an original and topical storyline that I think takes our game into new territory. And this game is specifically designed for the next-gen Xbox 360 and the PS3, so we were really able to push the technical envelope. And I gotta tell you, when you're driving the Aston Martin in Istanbul, you're on a knife's edge of precision, chaos, and carnage the cars careening past you and bullets whipping by, it really is the closest we've ever come to putting you in the driver's seat of an authentic Bond action chase experience. Now, I'm sure most of you, like me, grew up uh, reading the books, watching the movies, uh, and aspiring to be 007. And perhaps in my case, the line between fantasy and fiction was a little blurred because James Bond was a member of family, often to be found at the dinner table. Nevertheless, it wasn't until the video games came along 
that all of us had a chance to experience what it was like to live the secret life of a secret agent. And the question we ask ourselves each time is, how can we make a great game that makes you feel as if you're living the life of a bond, making the same life or death decisions under pressure? Well, this is that game. And unprecedentedly, we've brought together some of our top talent and film crew to the team to ensure the most authentic bond experience. Daniel Craig and Dame Judi Dench have given us great performances. Ben Cook, our stuntman, has choreographed brilliant hand-to-hand -hand melee and action sequences, which the developer of Bizarre Creations has seamlessly integrated into the combat system. Lindsay Pugh has designed the costumes. And again, Bruce Fierstein has given us a cracking script. Having co-written the screenplays for GoldenEye and for Tomorrow Never Dies and the story for The World's Not Enough, Bruce is a veteran of the Bond world. And for Bloodstone, he's successfully managed to craft a completely new narrative. I don't want to destroy the suspense for you, so I'll leave that for another time. But rest assured that the plot and the characters are in keeping with the Bond heritage. All in all, this is a game that promises a truly cinematic experience, offering total immersion into the persona, the mystery, and the world that is Bond, James Bond. So let's roll the trailer so you can see exactly what I mean for yourself. Thank you. Bond here. 007, this is urgent. Grego has flown in a group of international terrorists for a suicide mission. We fear the attack may be imminent. 